Brothers, this should be episode 12, and today I'm going to reiterate the fact in my last video. I ended on the fact of saying that I had terrible customer service. I went into this place, the girl behind the counter, there was a girl behind the counter. I don't know, she may have been 18, she may have been 22. I asked, how long have you guys been here? She looks up at me, knows exactly what I asked, and uh, repeats, how long have we been here? I'm like, yes, how long have you guys been here? She's like, uh, three months. I'm like, oh, nice, how do you secure this job? She's like, through my boss. And then I'm like, all right, well, this item does not have a price tag. So how much is it? She blah, 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 does her calculator on her phone. Doesn't even look at a computer or anything. She takes out her calculator. She's like, it'll be $11. Looks down at her phone, looks up. Oh, wait, I mean $21. I'm like, all right, so which one is it, 11 or 21? We blah, blah, back and forth. I ended up not buying it because you gotta have the right vibe out there. It just was not the vibe that I was vibing on. And I don't need a walk. It was this. It was, it was the first time visiting the store. Obviously, it was this little walk pad, and I was like, "This is pretty cool." If she's nice to me, I'll buy it. But uh, in my perception, my opinion was that like this is not as nice as this girl can be, and I've met her for a full ten seconds, and I'm already not getting the right impression. And she lost the sale. Kind of like uh, I've heard of the word challenging and standoffish. Not what you want to be, unless you want to be that. I mean, I hope I wish her the best. I don't have anything against her. It's just things didn't work out, and she lost the sale. And backstory is, I walk in the store, sitting on her phone, looks up and. Like hi, goes back to her phone until I walk up to the counter again. Then gets off her phone and talks to me for 15 seconds. So I don't know what she has going on in her personal life. And matter of fact, I'm not interested. So that's the situation that happened today. And then afterwards, I went for a walk at a park. There's a guy fishing. He was casting a couple of rods in this lake. I stopped and asked them, uh, catching anything? How's your day? He looked at me and said, uh, yeah, I caught a couple. I'm doing well, just have some time off for work, so figured I'd stop by the pod. So blah, blah, we chit-chat. He says, hey, I just got a guy that left my job. I know you recently graduated, like you said earlier. I'm uh, insurance for construction companies. And I said, hey, I'll, I'll remember the name, but right now I'm going 100% in on something else. I'm not going to go 95% to 5%. But if, it, if things aren't meant to be, that will be another option. Within three minutes of talking to one person today, I was kind of offered a job. So, uh, stay doing what I'm doing. Stay doing what you're doing. Stay doing the good things out there, and good things will be offered. Yeah, abundance. Whatever word you want to use. Positivity. Optimism. These are things I preach on my channel. I hope you guys have had entertainment from the story about this girl and this guy. And, uh... It's just been a really good day in general, like every day. It's kind of like, I wake up and I feel like, all right, what's gonna happen today? Kind of like the star of a reality TV show in my mind. If you guys can associate with that, you're waking up like, man, oh man, I wish I had somebody to follow me around with the camera all day, every day. We would have some interesting footage, to say the least. I have a work persona, I have a home persona, family persona, 
what's that other one? A school persona, a public persona. Not a school persona anymore for the time being. Because we graduated, baby. Going on now. Going back to school for a master's degree is going to be something I'm going to pursue. Yeah, and we got different personas, but stay optimistic, stay positive. I don't remember where I was going with that last fact, but hope I've entertained you today. Most woke, optimistic, business-minded individual with the last name and the first name and all the names. So, whatever that's supposed to be. Hope you guys get a little entertainment, catch a good vibe, have a great day. Guys, episode 13. Watch on two times speed, 1.5 speed. Jake.